I'm Jonathan Searcy, an Associate Professor of English at Southern Wesleyan University. We're so thankful you've joined us for the second SWU Literary Festival. This festival was made possible with the support of SC Humanities, a not-for-profit organization that inspires, engages, and enriches South Carolinians with programs on literature, history, culture, and heritage. The South Carolina Arts Commission itself receives support from the National Endowment for the Arts. Our theme for this year, for last year, for every year until we stop getting good work from the state's high school and college students is this, South Carolina, real and imagine. For the inaugural SWU Literary Festival, I chose as the festival's epigraph, T.S. Eliot's oft-quoted lines from Little Gidding. We shall not cease from exploration and the end of all our exploring will be to arrive where we started and know the place for the first time. The purpose of this festival is to allow South Carolina's high school and college students to meditate on this state and then through the power of their poetry and prose, help us to know this state, the things and people in it for the first time. Last year's festival happened roughly two weeks before COVID-19 hit America in full force. We're still living in the pandemic with one consequence of its reality being our having to host this festival virtually. In the intervening months, we've had plenty of time to sit and consider South Carolina from inside our homes or in safely distanced outdoor spaces. We've had time to think about the state's history, the miles it has traversed over the years and the distance remaining in a journey towards justice it has yet to complete. In this year's collection of poetry and prose, you will hear poems titled Down by the Crick and Passage Through Mountains that consider the external landscapes of South Carolina. You will hear a poem reflecting on what it means to grow up black in the city of Florence and an essay about discovering a life-changing teacher in the town of Six Mile. You will hear a short story about a small girl lost on her grandmother's property in Pickens County and a fantasy story that turned South Carolina into the setting for a monster chase. Finally, you will hear a poem that attempts to valorize some of the famous men and women who hail from South Carolina, as well as a short story set in the antebellum period that calls attention and searches for a response to the injustices of that period. I encourage you to listen to the writers from this year's festival well, because if you do, you just might arrive at the South Carolina where you started and find that you know the place for the first time.